Since the beginning, John Ebner has had a passion for creation, but he's always been a creative man in one way or another. Born in 1943 in Silverton, Oregon, John left at 19 to attend advertising art school in Portland. There, he picked up enough skills to push his artistry to the professional level, but making art for signs and businesses just wasn't his thing. I wasn't crazy about commercial art, so I asked the, the owner of the school one day, I said, what about being a fine artist and paint pictures for galleries? And he said, no, nah, he had starved to death doing that. He said, the guys in England painting on the sidewalks, all this. So I never pursued that at all. But I think it stuck in the back of my head. It wasn't until the year 1973, when his wife Paula signed him up for a watercolor class, that John's art really took off. Water wasn't simply a major part of his medium. It was also a core theme of his work. Water worked its way into John's artwork through seascapes, waterfalls, distant coastlines, and far off islands. Of course, he captured landlocked scenes as well, so long as it reflected the Northwest landscapes around him. Many of the pieces resonate with local viewers, as much of the locations were recognizable and home hitting for them. Some examples are John's paintings of Gasworks Park with its strange industrial structures, Pike Place Market in colorful, bustling brilliance, and scenic Roche and Gig Harbors, many of which in line with John's abundant theme of water. John's art initially fetched enough to pay for his equipment. He'd sell his art at fairs and community events in the form of prints, tiles, metal etchings, and more. Next thing he knew, his sold artwork fetched enough to pay for garden renovations on his Camino Island home, top floor renovations to his house, and college tuition for his kids. Now that his art has really taken flight, John says he can relax and enjoy more freedom in his painting. He paints less than he did in the early stages of his career, but he still paints often, and when he does, he paints what he feels like painting. From abstracts to collaborations with glass blowers. John is constantly creating, even if it's the Camino art community he's a part of. Since his arrival to the island, John has been very involved in the art community that's nearly doubled since he entered almost two decades ago. He still takes a major role in organizing the island-wide gallery walks that drew many artists to Camino in the first place. So, well, I can say this. My life before art and after art, it's like, you can't even measure how much different it is having uh, the ability to do this stuff. And um, it changes the way you look at everything. And it, I think it changes the way you think about things. Um, and it's, with art, it's unlimited, the possibilities. <laughs>